Hey everyone, we're going to look at Hey Joe. Hey everyone, we're going to look at Hey Joe and a way you can kind of play the melody and the, uh, the chords at the same time. So I'm not going to look at the intro because that's you know, not what we're here for. The idea is the chords. With my student the other day, we looked at this song and the chords and the, the melody, like all songs, the melody is attached to the chords and the scales. It's all, it's all one thing. So, my melody is from the C chord. And then the melody is here. So I've got the melody going from the B string, first finger, open string, go to the G chord, B string. I'm stopping the first string either with my finger or I just stop strumming from there, or I will mute the E string, the high E string, with this hand somehow. So if I'm playing... This first finger came off, and then it started touching the first string. Depends on which way you want to do it. And then we've got the D chord. So I'm going from a D to an A. Melody, I'm playing doing a blues thing. I actually I'm not playing it. <laughs> First finger on the D. A. So, melody on the D chord. A chord. Little blues band. Now the melody is pretty close to the same thing each time he says it. So it's up to you to decide if you want to copy the melody 100%, 80%, not much at all. This way of playing can be a cool way to to do a version by yourself or it can be a cool way just to support the the vocalist uh, a little bit more instead of just playing playing the same chords over and over again. Um, maybe you play the melody a little differently or you, let's have a look, let's go. So I didn't do a lot. You know, sort of poking in the melody here and there. That's how I may play it if I'm supporting a singer. So I let them still, you know, do the melody the way they want to do it, and then I just kind of support it a little bit. Um, that's pretty much the song. That's pretty much it, until he gets to the... Until he gets to that riffy part, but essentially it's just, how does he sing? does he phrase it so that will determine on how you play it but that's the basic the basic melody with the chords um, so that's it I'm not going to go any deeper take that and do something cool and apply it to other songs uh, like subscribe all that crap and hit me up for Skype lessons if you want to go deeper into this stuff and I'll see you next time cheers see ya